Here's another Speaking reality of. check. <laughs> a new ad in the race for Supreme Court takes aim at the court case, a court case handled by Judge Joanne Kloppenberg. But political reporter Jessica Arp tells you what's misleading about this case in tonight's reality check. An attack on Judge Joanne Kloppenberg uses a Dane County sexual assault case to make you think that she's released a criminal. We find that's not what happened. We've heard it before. Liberal judges letting criminals off on technicalities. Judges like Joanne Kloppenberg. This is misleading. Before we go any further, you should know the man involved in this case, Daniel Fierro, is still behind bars serving his 10-year sentence at Oshkosh Correctional. His conviction was never overturned, as you see on the screen. This man had a long criminal history, including beating his wife in front of their two-year-old daughter. Then, after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting a 15-year-old child, he got 15 years. This is also misleading. What you see here is a dramatization of events. Court documents show in the battery case, Fierro twisted the arm of his wife and pushed her into a chair, but he never hit her across the face. In a separate case, Fierro pled guilty to second-degree sexual assault. Two months later, he appealed his conviction, and that's when the case got to the appeals court and Judge Kloppenberg. Incredibly, he appealed, saying he didn't understand the charge. And Joanne Kloppenberg, she agreed to give him a new hearing. This needs clarification. A hearing is all Fierro got. After conviction, Fierro told a judge he didn't understand the charge he pled guilty to, and a judge denied a hearing on the matter. Three judges on the appeals court, including Kloppenberg, unanimously found that Fierro presented evidence that he was given plea instructions with information on the wrong charge, sexual contact with the child rather than sexual intercourse, and those have different consequences. The appeals court ruled the trial court should hold a hearing on whether Fierro could reconsider his plea. They did, and the judge once again denied him. Fierro remains in prison, but continues his appeal. Tell Judge Kloppenberg court should protect children, not criminals. Lastly, who paid for this ad? The Wisconsin Alliance for Reform is a nonprofit that's not required to disclose its donors and says it's focused on economic opportunities. It's run by former GOP aides and operatives and spent more than $700,000 statewide on this ad alone. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check. The Wisconsin Alliance for Reform has since removed the conviction overturned graphic from the beginning of this ad, saying they didn't want to quibble over the language, but they say they stand by the remainder of the message.